Want the ultimate hot hatch? Volkswagen's rejuvenated Golf R could well be it. This can't claim to be the fastest car of its kind, but its Wolfsburg maker reckons it's the most complete, most rewarding and most dynamic shopping rocket yet made. Depending on your mood, it can potentially reach up to 168 miles an hour on the racetrack or register better than 35 mpg on the school run. Your everyday supercar is right here. I've always liked the Golf R, but previously it always lacked that extra nth of driving involvement that characterises the market's most engaging hot hatches. For the best part of a decade, the Wolfsburg engineers couldn't work out how to deliver this, that Civic Type R or Megane Renault Sport sort of feel, without compromising the everyday usability this R model's clientele so valued. But now, to a great extent, they have. The biggest change here lies with the addition of what Volkswagen calls R Performance Torque Vectoring, which allows the four-wheel drive Haldex driveline not only to shift torque according to traction from front to back, but also from side to side across the rear axle via an electromechanical multi-plate clutch. This allows for up to 100% of possible torque to be directed to the wheel at the outside of any given bend, which in turn reduces the cornering radius eliminates understeer and makes the car noticeably more agile. It's all good. Another new clever piece of tech, the Vehicle Dynamics Manager, coordinates this feature in concert with the XDS electronic differential locks and if the must-have optional DCC adaptive damping system has been fitted, the electronic shock absorbers too. Under the bonnet, as usual with a Golf R, there's a 2.0-litre TSI petrol turbo engine but the latest EA888 fourth generation version of this unit now develops 320 PS and as before is mated exclusively to a 7 speed DSG auto gearbox with now larger steering wheel paddle shifters. That higher output is enough by launch control to dispatch the rest to 62 mile an hour sprint in 4.7 seconds on the way to a top speed that will be limited to 155 miles an hour unless you pay the extra for Volkswagen's R Performance Pack, which pushes maximum velocity up to 168 miles an hour. That pack also includes a drift mode, which tweaks the all-wheel drive and stability systems to allow for drifting on private tracks, and an additional special drive mode setting developed specifically for the legendary Nürburgring Nordschleife racetrack. Without the pack, as here, you'll be working with three core drive modes, Comfort, Sport and R, or Race, the latter dialing up the oral accompaniment from the standard sports exhausts. For those times when ultimate handling and performance aren't your overriding priority, this car's simply unequalled in segment for the way that it can function as a relaxed commuting or cruising tool. And it's slightly more efficient than most rivals too, the WLTP rated figures being up to 36.2 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and up to 177 grams per kilometre of CO2. By and large, extrovert customers in search of a super hatch don't tend to choose a Golf R. This Volkswagen has mastered the concept of super fast speed in a subtle suit, but the Golf GTI also champions that approach. This R model must look a stage more serious. It does, especially this time around. Let's start here at the front, where the bespoke R-style bumper features a motorsport-influenced spoiler, body-coloured side wings, high-gloss black elements, and R-specific air intake grills. Further up, the top radiator grille gets an R badge and a blue crossbar to differentiate this model's top performance status. This bar lighting up as an LED strip as soon as the engine starts and stretching all the way into the wings as a daytime running light via illuminated strips in each LED headlamp unit. In profile, you'll notice the wheels first. Standard R models get these 18-inch Hereth rims featuring blue R calipers for the larger 18-inch brake system. At the rear, this R logo sits between the LED tail lights, but the attention of Golf R Cognoscenti will be focused further up. 
they'll want to see if you've stretched to the performance pack variant which gets a huge performance rear wing to cope with its higher 168 mile an hour top speed. At the wheel, the cabin has a bespoke feel with our branded sports seats featuring blue checked Sardenga upholstery and integrated head restraints. Plus brushed stainless steel pedals, carbon style dash panel applications, a black headliner and our specific door trim that echoes the Alcantara style Art Velours trim on the seat bolsters. And as in any Golf 8, screens dominate the cabin architecture. A 10 inch central Discover Media infotainment monitor and a 10.25 inch digital cockpit pro instrument binnacle display. The latter has a so called sport skin, which gives you an R branded central round rev counter, which you can change to an R view layout with a horizontal rev counter at the top edge of the display. Away from media features, perhaps this unique sports steering wheel is the nicest touch, embellished with blue stitching and fitted out here with properly sized tactile gear shift paddles rather than the rather apologetic small plastic items you get on a Golf GTI. To manually switch ratios, you either choose these or the shift by wire buttons next to the stubby new selector on the centre console. On the left steering wheel spoke is the small blue R button that you'll need for direct selection of the various driving profiles. A long press takes you straight to blue mist R mode with its throaty exhaust note. Let's take a seat in the rear of this five door only model. Thanks to the extra 16 millimetres of length between the wheels with this Mark 8 Golf design, there's a fraction more leg room than there was before, so a pair of six foot adults can now be accommodated reasonably here, though knee room begins to get pretty tight once the front seat occupants start to slide their seats back. Let's finish this segment by taking a look in the boot, the catch for which, as usual on a Golf, is activated by pushing this centre tailgate badge. Now your dealer might reference the fact that the 381 litre space provided here is a little bigger than the trunk you get in a rival Mercedes AMG A35 or A45. Pushing forward the conventional 6040 split rear bench, you do get frees up 1,237 litres across a load area that'll be virtually flat if you have the boot floor in its upper position. The better this car gets, the pricier it becomes and the more exclusive its ownership pool ends up being. Which is the way of things, but a pity because an awful lot of compact drivers would love the car this Golf R has the fact that this new era Golf R can be had with a drift system at all tells you something important about the way that the appeal of this car has been sharpened. Which means that if you can't decide between a really quick hot hatch like say a BMW M135i or a Renault Sport Megane RS or a ridiculously fast one like say uh, an Audi RS3 or that Mercedes AMG A45 then now more than ever before, I'd say a Golf R is your perfect choice. It's a Golf GTI led off the leash, which given how much we like that car, makes this one very desirable indeed.